are you? Searching for a red rose. Oh, red rose. Oh, okay, let me th- let me help you with that then. That's the only complaint about non-vanilla Minecraft is because there's other plants. It's impossible to find some of the vanilla ones. Also, we're in the cherry biome, so it's just pink sodding flowers. That's okay. And clover. The, the, my red rose was literally right next to our base. <laughs> it was just very funny. There's some up there. You got them? There's some in the hemp, uh, not the hemp area, the heath area. Wrong H. And the heath. Oh my, okay. Wrong H. Going up to the heath. In fact, Local. maybe they're not. That might be a, some type of shrub, actually. Let's have a look. Shimmer leaf. Get that. Shrub. Hmm. Oh, the, the, the um, biome right next to us is actually quite nice as well. It's like a uh, bog, I think, or swamp. Oh. Oh, it's a berry bush. What's this? Oh, it's just a berry bush that gives berries. Oh, well, that's that's not a red rose either. You've not got the red roses. Right, OK. I'll keep looking. I've not got the red roses. I'm picking up any flowers I see as I walk. You keep looking. OK. Clovers. I'm not, I'm not sure you need to. No? But... Oh, it should be fine. You can hit the uh, you can hit the grass if you want, because the grass does give seeds. But there's a cat here. A cat? Oh no. Hello, cat. Do you want these cooked steaks? But what about Mr. Cat? No, he's fine. We can have multiple cats. Can't you? Can't? Can we? Oh yeah. I thought that was like a jealousy thing. No, Mr. Cat gets on with other cats. Oh, that's good. That's very good. I don't think they like. Uh, I don't think they like. Raw, raw pork. Oh. Hello, cats. That that cookie that we left in that table at the village is still there. What cookie? Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that cookie. Bring it back. <laughs> no one's collected it. It's just still there. I can't get it out the table. Save it's stuck our in the table cookie. now. Oh, okay. Did you get the red rose yet? Um, no. Oh, my God. You wouldn't believe it. You would not believe how impossible it is. I got mine, no problem. Yeah, you've got the only one in the bloody, like... World. What's that? Western Hemisphere or something. I got some poison ivies. I found toadstools. We can put that around our base and trap people. Get them all poisoned. There are types of ivy that actually dissuade mobs from coming near you um, that you can grow. It could be poison ivy. So um, we could certainly put that around the house at some point if we find some. There's a... Or if we make some, because we can make them later. There's a hive. I found a hive... Do you, know what the, do you know what the probably annoying thing is? People have probably seen, like I've probably passed one or something. A, a red rose. Yep, yep. I'm just going to get these reeds. Yeah, it'll be your fault. It'll be your fault. Oh, reeds, yeah. It's a sick water. So, yeah, when I was tidying up the area, um, I got a load of... Because what you do is if you dig the soil, it still knocks the grass, so it gives the seeds. So any seeds that I got, I just bunged in that chest. Okay, so we're going to go on a planting sesh. I reckon... I reckon we could plant most of them, and I'd probably say the best way to do it without using a hell of a lot of space is to put them maybe around the house or use the wall as part of the enclosure. Oh, this... Hold on. This ke- this sheep is wearing a Luigi hat. Oh, get it. Get it. Get the Luigi. I, I got it. I got it. Uh, what, what were you saying again? Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, basically, I reckon we should put uh, all the sort of starting seeds around the house. If you use the house as a wall, but we trod on them. Uh, they've patched it so that unless you jump on them, they don't break now, which has only taken however many years. Really? Wow. To be uh, implemented. But what we could do is we could also put a fence around it if you're a bit worried of. Um, what if a creeper jumps on it? Any jumping occurring. And what if a creeper explodes on it and just explodes our house? That would happen anyway. <laughs> you got me there, Hannah. You've got me there. Oh, I found some cotton. Hello. It's cotton? Cotton? Who's got a cotton? I cannot believe we have yet to find a red rose. Like, I'm in a state of awe. Yes, so am I. Um, I'm going to take this. I'm going to take these cotton seeds, actually, because cotton's um, a little bit different to the other plants. And once you plant it, you don't need to replant it. It just pops out cotton every now and then. Okay. And you just leave it. What do you mean it pops out cotton? So I've I just found like five cotton plants in the wild. Well, you just hit it, it gives you the cotton, and then it carries on growing. All oh, right, I thought it like actually just dropped it randomly. No, no, it. Oh my god, I found, I found high grass, actual high grass and mud. What is this biome? This is this is it. Amazing. It's just grass everywhere, and and more grass and tall grass. Do you remember Minecraft before biomes? 
Yes. Wasn't it dull? God, it was boring. <laughs> yeah. Biomes. Oh, what's this? This has got actual mud. This is insane. There's mud and high grass and this is biomes are plenty though. All this stuff. This is, is it? not. Oh, I see. This is not Minecraft. So good job, biomes are plenty. I have to say though, it is so much more fun. Oh yeah. Oh god, I'm, I'm, I think I'm basically in a in a like a marshlandy sort of swampy thing. Right. There's definitely no roses here. There's just tall grass everywhere. So I'm trying to like get back out of it again. But if we ever want seeds, this is the prime prime place. I have no idea where I am. I've ventured so far from our base. Really? Memories of our base are uh, a distant, very distant memory. I have to say. I've still not found a red rose. I might just have to borrow yours. I'm coming home. And if I f hopefully I'll find a red rose on the way. Okay, I'm on my way as well. I cannot believe that there was one next to our base and nowhere else. Still, still no roses. Still no roses to be found. And there's so many yellow flowers, I don't understand how there are no red flowers. I know, especially like we're in a pink... We're in a pink biome. You would hope there'd be more red stuff, you know, just from a, a aesthetic point of view, mm. uh, as opposed to yellow, but no. I'm, I'm trying to get back to you. Um, okay. <gasps> oh my God, I found red roses. Hooray! Hooray! See, right, get hold of them. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna take more than we need. Now, see, I can't find any, so I'm just gonna stay here in the house, and you can just- Yeah, 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 go now, go now. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting dark. Okay. Well, I'm in the house now. I just gave up. I'm just back. You can you can sort it. You're the flower finder. I'm just going to stay here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's getting dark. So, you've got your herbology book. So, um the main thing we want is I believe there's a there's also two more recipes in the chest that uh, are for the mutandis, which is a herby thing you use on plants. That you've put down, so little, little, um, mainly grass. I don't think you can use it on saplings, but you can use it to change what it is. So we have, we basically want to grow mandrakes um, to make mutandis, and then we use the mutandis to make rowan, uh, hawthorn, and aster trees. I think those are the three witch trees, and we also need Spanish moss for some reason because. The Spanish are coming. Hannah, I have the flowers. I'm here. What? Oh, really? Oh, well, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> We've got the flowers. Good God. That was ridiculous. That is a very nice hat that you're wearing. Thanks. Do you like my hat? It's great. It's a fez. It's great. I've got... Um, Fezzes are cool. I've got the Marks hat on. Yeah, I can see that. you got the, uh, the Groucho Marks going. I like that. I like them. You like uh you like a bit of the marks for us, do you? You're a big fan. Uh, they're all right. Yeah. Okay. I'm all right. I I was going more for the. I didn't want that. Oh my god. Red flowers. We just wanted one, and you got five. I actually got thirteen. What? Uh, I figured I I figured I'd take more than we needed because it took like literally like an hour to find them. Is that where they're all living? Are they all just living? It, it was a biome far far away. Oh my god. All right, I'm putting all the extra stuff I got in this um uh thing. So I got belladonna seeds. I got. Um, yeah, whack it all in there. Sweet corn, no room for that. Got wild carrots, no room for that. Dandelions, orange cosmos. Um, potatoes. Potatoes, I think, are edible. So the stuff that's edible oh, okay. and isn't a seed, I would uh, bung in. I'll and eat that then. Yeah. Because I'm hungry. Good plan. Wild carrots aren't uh, a seed then, no? I don't know. I don't think they are. It's like barley isn't as well. And I'm not sure about rice and hemp. I got clover. Hemp? I don't know about the hemp. Uh, I think I think you need hemp seeds to grow it, and I think hemp is actually what you do the um, stuff with, like the actual stuff. Where the heck did I get quicksilver from? So what's the plan here? We're going to grow our seeds out, and then we're going to learn to like be witches yep. and wizards. Yep. And yep. then we're going to retake Owl Island. This is the plan, is it? Yeah, it is the plan. Now I was I was thinking about this at the uh, at the weekend, and you know that the pirate ship has got TNT on the sides. Uh, yes. So if we can get hold of a fire bow, which I think is actually like legit easy to, well, not easy, um, but uh -huh. if we can get hold of a fire bow. Right. Uh, 
It looks like it's called an electric bow. I'll have to do some research. Oh, my God, we're not getting that. That's absurd. Um, no? OK. <laughs> the, if we can get a normal bow and enchant it or whatever, we can blow up the TNT in the sides of the ship right. and then board them that way. That sounds like it will work a treat, yeah. Also, we can get brooms. Yes. Using the growing, which is highly important, as witches need brooms. Yeah, I mean, I want to be cruising around in a broom, of course. I do too. So, what we're going to do is, the first thing we have to do is we need to grow some plants, because... Yes. We need mutandus, which is... Mutandus. In that book. I'm going to put that away. I think it's time to upgrade this chest here. I upgraded it. Oh, God. Yeah, okay. Well done. Thank you. So I'll take I'll take all the seeds just for now because I know what they do. Mhm. Mm um, Put in all this junk. Now the the orberry bush has to be grown in low light levels. It turns out. Ah, so that's why it works very well. So you're not leaving it in the hut. Well, I liked it there. <laughs> but we need to have like a, a a sort of cave for it. I think. Okay. Okay. So yeah. Stone shove. Oh, I'll need that. Um. Okay. Okay, okay. So what we do need... Is a hole. Oh, actually, bear with me. This is a zombie. We're going to need a hole, aren't we? Yeah. Well, we're going to need a hole, but we're also going to need some water. We're going to need a hoe. No, I said I said hole, not hole. Oh, that was... Not hole. <laughs> no, a hole. <laughs> uh, we might need a hole as well. Um, we might need a, a scythe as well, because that okay. gathers, like, seeds from stuff in a three by three area so that's quite a good way to gather more basically okay rather quickly i've made you a hole thank you very kind holes i've got holes for everybody holes. oh oops uh, uh. okay then here thanks thanks for the hoe so where's our garden gonna be it's dark great well what we could do around the back or the, i think maybe the side there's, there's a few different ways we could do it. We could do it to the side. Mm. We could do it round the house using the wall and have like a mini moat. Right. Or we could use Paul and Amelia as water sources and just sort of fill in where the sand is and replace it with dirt. I, I, I like here. I like here. Like this big section is like okay. quite good. We're going to need water then. Oh, God, the creeper behind you. Oh, God, what is it wearing? <laughs> what is it wearing? It's someone's hat. It's like a user's hat. Go away. Was my hat? It's your hat now. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, right. So first things first, we need water. So have we got? I'll get to hoeing. You get to hoeing. I've got some iron ingots, so I'll make a bucket. Mana elemental. Come on now. What's with this? I didn't do nothing to you, buddy. God. Oh, they're they're just dicks. They are. They don't care. They're so rude. I'm just trying to hole. I'm just trying to hole Hannah, you know. And like, this is what I'm getting. It's not even. It's not even like I don't even know where they come from. They just turn up. Just think they own the place. Very rude. Very rude stuff. I mean, it's not like they spent a weekend digging up all the dirt so it was level or anything. Yeah. Silly elementals. For those wondering, uh, Hannah told me not to look up anything about this mod. Yeah. Because she, she said, and I quote, um, I'm a Harry and she's Dumbledore. That I, well, sort of. Those, that is a direct quote <sighs> from Hannah. Um, yes, sort of. Uh, so so if, if anyone's wondering why I don't know, then it's because Hannah said... Uh, I'm not allowed to know. I think it's I think it's a good thing though. I think like you need a bit of surprise. That squid's wearing a hat. I'm gonna go get it. Go on then. Get back here. I got the turkey hat. Find the zombie hat. behind you. Oh. I got the cooked turkey hat. <laughs> these hats. Oh. So these are my rows, right? Hold up. This is how it works, isn't it? Um, there's another zombie coming at you. I'll I'll deal with that. You you can take that one. I'm sure you you got that first. Okay. Now you don't now need. Oh, I got a sword. Um, what? I've got a nice... Nice. Nice shiny sword. Oh, yeah. Or I will do when I get rid of something in my inventory. God help me. Uh, I, might, I might just drive by and steal it. Be careful. No, I got it. I got it. Um, so, yeah, I, the only query I have is where are you going to walk? Because you'd have to walk... Oh, no, wait. Aren't you allowed to walk on them, though? Didn't someone tell me? Yeah, you can't jump on them. Right, well, that's fine. We can walk on them. So we're just going to, like, mow down here, are we? In fact, no, what we can do, Hannah, right? We're just going to mow down here with a sword and knock everything off. No, no, what we can do is we can um, make a walkway. A pardon? A walkway? Yeah. That goes over the top of them. Oh, God. Right? This is getting technical. No, this is good. 
This is good. This, you know, we can like survey our uh, our crops. Uh, there's a baby zombie there. Ah! Come kill here. It, kill it. Get the fire. Like this. I'm going to use wood actually. I don't know why I'm using dirt. Uh, this will be nice. This will be really nice. This will be really classy, Hannah. This is going to be so classy. Okay. I'm telling you. I'm. I'll. I'll trust your judgment on that. I'm just going to fill in these holes. Okay. Um, so that it's all level, and then I'll I'll get a bucket and start thingying, shall I? Uh, what, what what does thingying mean? Fill in the holes with with waters. Okay, that needs to be higher, right? Understood. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah, you just gotta bring it up a bit, and it'd be great. Yeah. Right. Uh, let's get rid of this dirt. Ooh. Sorry uh, for those of you, by the way, in the last video, my UI wasn't at the right scale. You big noob. Um, Lewis called me out and was like, uh, yeah, now see, your UI is... The like, last seven videos or whatever it is. Minuscule, yeah. <laughs> Why is your UI so small? And I was like, you know what? Why are you so noob? It's a creative uh, decision. Yeah. Uh, you know, I felt that my art was better, uh, you know, viewed at... at um, a small scale. Where's all the iron gone? Do we use all the iron? Uh, oh, I've got it. I've got it. Sorry, I was making buckets. Can I have one piece? Uh, you can have it all if you want. Yes. Yes. Uh, we will need shears later on, so... Um, I just want to make an axe. Okay. Just so you don't spend it all at once. I'm going to make an axe. Uh, Let me ask you a question, Anna. Oh, God. Yes, go on then. Uh, how's it going? It's going well. Good. It's going well. It's actually a really nice sunny day in Bristol for once. Really? Yeah. Wow. It's amazing. I don't know what it's like outside. I haven't I haven't looked out the window yet. I tend not to look out the window. You know? Well, I had to come out of the my house and come into the office. Mm. So mm -hmm. I, I experience the weather, whether I like it or not, sometimes. I see. Usually it's not because Bristol weather is very wet and windy quite often. Yeah. Like uh, last year, there were droughts throughout the UK, and then there was Bristol, who was in danger of flash flooding. I remember that, but At then the nothing happened, time. right? Like it was all <laughs> no, like, oh, it's going to happen, but then nothing happened. We did get a few people with flash flooding. Um, really? But it wasn't too bad. Oh, there's some there's some that? calamari and some ink sacs down here from you killing that squid. You didn't pick them up. Uh, sorry about that. Um, the biggest noob in the land. I, I, I forgot. Uh, I'll be honest with you. That is. Uh, so we're making berries so that we can eventually make trees so that we can burn the trees yep. so that we can get magic stuff. Well, that's. Um, we fine. <laughs>